incredible. We have a young male that has found himself a nice wallow and is going crazy in the mud. He's been rolling around and I think that's the end of it. But he was having a amazing time in the mud there. He was flat and head was in the mud. Now we've got another young male coming up behind us. So let's see if he's going to go into the mud as well. The whole herd has been here. You can actually see how disturbed it is. There's all the mud is poking out of the grass and that's because a herd has already been and started to wallow in this area. You can actually see the rest of them moving off. Now, there is going to be a young male that will come across now now. He's going to just come past the front of the vehicle and I'm sure he's going to come into this muddy mess as well and maybe it's time for him to have a little spa treatment and move around in the mud too. But what a nice way to finish the morning. It started so dreary with the rain and now we've got these Ellie's out and about and they are full of nonsense this morning. They've been in mud, they've been playing with one another so it's been really nice to spend a bit of time with them. And it's good to see the elephants coming back now. You can see, there we go, back into the mud we go. So we're not quite finished just yet. He's absolutely covering himself in it. Uh, probably also due to the fact that there is a lot of biting flies around. So there's lots of flies that are landing all over us. And that mud will actually create a layer between this elephant and those flies. So that's maybe why he's doing it. Plus it just looks like good clean fun. Well, not clean fun, but muddy fun. And if you're a young male, as I know when I was a kid growing up, it was always fun to get full of dirt and play around in the mud and just be an absolute delinquent as a young boy. So these young boys are no different. They are doing the exact same thing. Now we're doing downward dog yoga poses and onto our side we go. Maybe it'd been all too much for this male. He looks like he's going to fall asleep in the mud. Isn't that incredible? So earlier we saw them in the distance, they were all lying down and this is exactly what they were doing. They obviously found another muddy wallow further down because they're already covered in mud and they've decided that this is the best place to sleep. You'll probably find that the mud is also just separating slightly so it's a lot more comfortable than lying anywhere else. And then like I say, it's creating that barrier for the flies so that is quite incredible. Now the one closest to us looks as though he's going to fall asleep. He doesn't look like he wants to move at all. The other one is still playing and frolicking like a typical delinquent teenager. And he's doing his own thing. I'm sure he's going to start wrestling with the other male. They often do. They see the other male not moving around. Then they turn around and they headbutt them and poke their tusks into them to get a response. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? That is one happy elephant, that's for sure. Buttons cockatoo, you're right. You're saying that this might be a future creation of a pan, and indeed, this is exactly how they start. The elephants come and they start to wallow in this area when it's all muddy, and then you'll find buffalo come and do it, rhino come and do it, and varying animals, and as they come here they start to kick out more mud and so depressions form and then the next time it rains a little bit more water falls in here and then it keeps just going and eventually you get these quite big pan systems like we see around cello pans or Ingwe Alley got lots of pan systems around there and this is exactly the same way so nice observations buttons cockatoo that's very very good at thinking but this is absolutely amazing now I don't want to move because I'm scared that they're going to get up and go away if I try and move. So I think we're just going to sit and watch these two have a nice little rest. Lynn, I agree, they do look like they are thoroughly enjoying it. Like there's a big broad smile as they play around. But it also looks like that guilty smile. Same when you're a child, you knew you were to get in trouble with mom because you've been rolling around and you've been messing around in the sand and made mud everywhere and you've lagged behind the herd and so I think they at some point will get into trouble but they do look like they are having a lot of fun and there's that smile that you were talking about and there's that guilty look as if to say I'm not doing anything you have not caught me in the mud at all